Hello everybody, this is BioTF Anime, and welcome to my GeForce Experience uh, overview, a review, my opinions, and kind of a tutorial as I'm going to show you how it works. So, with the new beta that came out just today, uh, GeForce Experience now has some new features, such as an overlay, uh, where you can do everything you did before, but in-game and much easier. Uh, some, uh, something called Game Stream Co-op, which is a really cool feature, I'll get into that. And yeah, that's it. So here are the requirements, you can look up, look these up on your own. I'll put the link in the description below. And then you can download it, provided you have the hardware and blah blah blah. You know the gist of it, I think. You'll see, uh, if you read this. So, let's go on to the program itself, GeForce Experience, there we go. Uh, it doesn't look that much different from before. The beta is still, uh, it's, it still looks the same. So you can see you have your tabs right here for drivers, my rig, shield, preferences. I think the preferences have changed a little bit here, but I'm not very sure. Because I don't go into the preferences a lot. Uh, uh, the biggest change in the program is the share button here. And when you press down here, you have this other, other drop down menu. Open opens the video file, uh, the video folder where you keep all your gameplay recordings and whatnot. Uh, connect, connect to YouTube, which I have. Uh, we'll close that. Preferences, jump into preferences, of course. And disable, well, I'm pretty sure it disables it. So, there's that. Uh, but the share button, now when you, uh, when you use the click shadow play, it pops up this little window with all the options and such. But when you press the share button now, it goes into the overlay, and it, you can also access it with the keyboard shortcut, Alt Z or Alt Z. And once you press that, here we go. Here it is, the Shadow Play overlay. Well, that rhymes. Uh, so there is uh, all the options you've had before: instant replay, which is the uh, taking uh, the buffer and like saving whatever you had five minutes ago or blah blah, blah or what, whatever you set it as. Uh, so if you go to, you can turn it on here, I'll turn it on, and it pauses this notification, instant replay is now on. And then you see that right there. Uh, if I do all that again, save, upload. Uh, so you can save whatever, uh, you can, you don't have to press Alt F10 anymore to do that, but you can still. Uh, customize, you can't, because I'm recording right now. So let's, let's save, and then... So I've saved 24 seconds, it seems. Uh, I'll show you why I saved that. Uh, you can upload straight up. But let's turn off for now, because I want to show you some other stuff. So let's go to Customize. And you, this menu should be familiar if you used Shadowplay before. It has the amount of time you want the replay to be, and how big the file will be. Quality, you can set custom or any of these. Frame rate, you can change to 30 or 60 frames per second. Uh, resolution, you can go to the in-game one or any of these ones. And the bitrate. Uh, so I will just go back. Uh, let's do recording. Or record. So that one is the F9 function you used to do. Uh, Alt F9. I mean, Alt F9, you start recording and you can record to how, uh, how much, as long as you want. Or as much as you can. If you have space for it. So that's that. Uh, customize, it's the same as the other page except it doesn't have the replay length because it's not saving for however long it has to. We'll go back and then broadcast is the same. We did broad uh, start broadcasting, switch logging out, blah blah blah. And then when you customize, you go into your settings here for streaming. Uh, lucky thing is now that when you turn this on, it doesn't log you out automatically because it used to. Uh, Alright, then there's the microphone. Uh, always on, push to talk, off. Uh, I have it off right now because for the game stream demo, I have t uh, it'll have an echo because you automatically voice chat with whoever you are streaming to. Uh, there's the camera for your face cams and gallery, which you can see I have some clips already. So let's see if I can just click this. Ooh, interesting. I haven't actually done this gallery yet part yet, uh, but you can edit them. And you can play, let's play. I shouldn't have any videos uh, powered by. Ooh. So when it uploads, it will automatically put that there. I guess. 
interesting. Uh, so you can upload. It might actually straight upload to my YouTube, and I don't really want to do that. So I'm gonna go black for now. Uh, maybe, maybe in a bit. Maybe in a bit I will. Uh, remove. I kind of want to remove it. Remove. Nothing to show. Okay. Well. So let's do. Uh, so uh, let's do the game streaming. That is the most. Uh, excuse me. That is the most uh, prevalent new feature here. Uh, but for that, I'll have to show you a demo in game, and we will use, and I will use, not we, I will use Metal Gear Solid 5 Defender Pain. All right. So, unfortunately, I can't use OBS to record uh, the overlay, so I'll have to use the, my phone to record uh, the screen as well as um, the as well as the laptop which I am streaming to. So, uh, let's start. By going into Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. Uh, so, as you can see, Alt Z, it will work in uh, here as well. You, uh, you can see all those features, blah, 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 and the stream. Uh, there is send invite, copy invite, Earl, or guest controls. So, send invite sends an email, which I will be using, and in copy invite, Earl, uh, you can send through a chat or whatever. Guest controls. I'll show you that later. So let's let's just. Oops. So every time you exit the overlay, it will do that sound. All right. So let's go. Press any key. I'll go in. All right. So let's try and send an invite. I will send it to my other email address, uh, and I will put Eugene. All right. Send invite. So there you go, sending invite to kenshinag02333 at gmail.com in the corner. Now, if we go over to that said gmail account, we can see that we have a new email, primary, from NVIDIA, and it says Eugene wants you to play Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain using GeForce Experience. So let's click on that. There you go, you're invited to play. It has a really fancy, fancy invite, like it's a card. And so, as a guest, play alongside or just watch any PC using Google Chrome and a free extension from NVIDIA. So, Alright, that didn't work. Uh, I had to cut it a little bit. Uh, so let's go to my extensions. Extensions, extensions. I'm an idiot. I cannot find it. extensions. There we are. So, I'm going to delete this just to show you how it goes. But I already had it installed. Remove this. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. So. Once you press accept invite, it will open this other page where it says, Are you ready? Your friend Eugene has invited you to play blah as a guest. So now you install the plugin. So we press install, and it's called GeForce Experience Stream Client. Uh, uh, there's all this crap. Add app. Alright. Yeah, I'll be downloading, and it actually installs pretty fast. Adding to Chrome. And I think it's pretty much done already. Installing. Soon you'll be happy gaming. It is done. And it'll pop up this window. Yes, I will agree and continue. Or else you can't start playing. So I plugged in uh, a second controller for this purpose to see if it works. I've done this before and a few times it did not work. So let's hopefully it works. Waiting. Preparing your session. There we go. Uh, as you can see, I am in the menu right now. Oops. All right. right. Now, now getting get an echo. echo. So Alt, Alt X, X, Alt X pops up that menu, which lets me mute. And then it has these options. You can see the uh, for shortcuts, and you can press join game. I'll show you back on the screen though. When I press Alt Z, so it'll pause on the screen, and then I'll show you the options. And now I'll show you what guest controls do, do does. So first, you can do watch me play. Done. And then your friend becomes a spectator. So I can do whatever. And the latency is actually really good. I'm not sure is it because I'm on the same Wi-Fi, but if you look. 
Now let's go options. I'll click on Look at that. Uh, or I'll press continue. Actually, I don't want to do that yet. Now, that's one of the options. So, another option, when I press Alt Z, is to press controls, play as me. Play alongside me is for co-op games. This isn't one, so I won't show you that. Play as me. Done. Now, the screen is what you've seen before. Join game. And we will do so. I don't know what this about is. Oh, this shows all the licensing, licensing stuff. You can also full screen this if you press F11 as you can see. So F11. Join game. So. And. See this time it's not working. And I have it. Plugged in right here. But the keyboard does work. And mouse. So I press enter. There we go. I start loading. So you can play your own games by streaming it to your own laptops as well. Let me try unplugging and replugging in to see if it works. And it works. Now it works. So, okay, just to show you, this is the controller. I'm not doing any jokery here. Plugged into my computer. And this is plugged into the laptop. So, Oh, here, I'll show you. So, there is... there. It's pretty good. I'll show you the latency. Right there. Alright, so let's take a look. It is a bit faster, of course. Uh, I saw something. Oh, right here, right here. Now, the latency for the controller is really, really good. I can see... The only lag I vis visually see would be... Um, the picture being sent back here. So if I run, it might, it might start lagging. Hey, it's not actually. It's really good. Really smooth right now. So, there we go. Here. Look how fast it is. Alright. Okay, there's a little bit. Tiny bit of lag sometimes. So, let's go up the hill. Or let's take up the carpet block. And let's stand up. There's a tiny bit of lag, but honestly, it's negligible. Well, as you know, it's, sometimes it isn't. It's, you can see it, but it's pretty good. And but I'll, I can com completely plug this in and play on this. Like there's, I don't feel any lag in terms of my controller input into my computer, into what's going on. So there's that. Uh, now let's see. If I stop this... Alright, so now let's let's stop this. I will go... Alt-Z here, and let's press stop. So it pops up this, because it's a beta, so you can rate it. You can also rate it here, send feedback, but I'm not going to do that. That's F11 there and exit and then if you try to click that invite again it'll say he's not streaming yeah I stopped streaming so nope there's no chance of that going on and so if we go back here you can see you can send it I that was a four uh, I'll just send it and there's that now I'll show you these other features too uh, the gallery feature I mean so let's try start recording and then in the corner it'll give you that little signal right there and then I can start playing again yada 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 I can use that menu again to pause or stop but I will use F9 Alt uh, let me show you actually that it actually is going away Alt F9 there we go. It shows you you have been saved to gallery. And if we go Alt F10, I mean Alt Z, we go to gallery. We can look at this. And let's try it. upload it to YouTube has started. Okay, I don't really want to do that. How do we stop? 
Well, I'll remove it later. So, that's all. That's all there is. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope it helped you, uh, to use the Jeepers experience made up. Thanks for watching.